Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up PSP games on Botticera. Let's dive into it. All right, so to kick everything off today, I'm actually on a separate PC from my gaming PC, which is what I use for Botticera. And I'm gonna be using a USB flash drive to transfer over my ROMs from my regular PC over onto my gaming PC running Botticera. Now you can do it this way, or you can go and add your ROMs directly into your Botticera build via network connection. So if you're interested in going that route, then I'll put a link at the top of the screen right now and also in the description of this video that'll show you guys exactly how to access your Botticera file system remotely. You just need to be connected through Wi-Fi on your current PC as well as on your gaming PC or whatever PC you're using to run Botticera on. So uh, link again in the description because it only lasts a couple seconds up at the top of this video here. But this process is what I like to use, which is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So I'm going to jump into my file explorer here, and you're going to want to kick everything off by, of course, downloading some PSP ROMs directly to your PC. So if we go into my downloads tab here, you can see I have a bunch of ROMs downloaded for PSP. And these ROMs here are all zipped. So we're going to need to extract them. So I'm going to select just a couple of ROMs to demo this process with you guys. So I'm going to go in here and um, next one in line is the G titles here. So I'm going to select um, God of War, Chains of Olympus, as well as God of War, Ghost of Sparta. So we're going to highlight both of these. And you're going to want to download 7-zip or a software where you can actually unzip files. So I have 7-Zip on here. I've had a great experience with 7-Zip. So all I have to do once I've downloaded 7-Zip directly to my PC, and that's a really short process. It takes just a couple seconds to get that fully downloaded and ready to go. So once it's downloaded, all I have to do is just highlight the ROM or multiple ROMs that I want to extract and then right click on them. And right here, you can see I have 7-Zip automatically populates into this list. And then I'm just going to go over to extract files. I'm going to confirm it with OK, and they're going to automatically start extracting. And now this process is extremely quick and actually just minimized down here, but I'll open that up for you guys. You can see we're already at 47% right now. Here is the time remaining, 12 seconds. So all in all, the whole process here takes about 30 seconds or so. And again, it's going to depend on the size of the ROM that you're actually extracting. But in this case, these are actually two of the larger ones. So all in all, the process is extremely quick. So we're already done here. So once that fully extracts, you're going to have these up here, which are the zipped versions, but also now you can see we have the unzipped versions right down here. So just to make it less confusing, once they're extracted and unzipped, you can go ahead and just delete these from your list if you're dealing with a large list like I have. Um, and of course, if you're using a PC that may have a limitation on space, you certainly want to get rid of whatever you don't need. So I'm going to go up here and just delete those. I'll have to clear them from my trash can as well, but I don't, I'm not sure on space here, so I'm not worried about it. So now I'm going to jump into my first one right up here, which is God of War, Chains of Olympus. And if we double click on this, you can see within the folder, we have our disk image file. So we're going to now just drag and drop this into my flash drive, which I have plugged into my PC. And you can see it's right here as Samsung flash drive. And I actually have on here a bunch of additional ROMs that I already did this with. So we'll go back over to downloads, back into Chains of Olympus, and just simply you can either right click on it and copy it. For me, I'll have to hit show more options and I will click copy. And now I can just go over to my Samsung flash drive, click on that, click on the open area here, right click and show more options and simply click paste. So that's going to paste right in here. We can see how long it's going to take here. It should take about 30 seconds or so. There you go. There's the time remaining. So we're already at almost 40%. So it's going to take, I think, considerably less than 30 seconds here. And once this is complete, you'll see it add right into the Samsung flash drive. And there it is right there. So now we'll go back over to downloads. We got Chains of Olympus added in. Now we're going to go into God of War, Ghost of Sparta, double click. 
And this time I'm just going to drag and drop as opposed to copying and pasting. This is a lot quicker. Just drag it right over to Samsung flash drive on that left column, let it go. And you're going to get the exact same situation here where you have your progress bar going across. It's estimating about 30 seconds. Last one took a little bit less than 30 seconds. So we'll let it do its thing. Once it's complete, we'll double check to make sure that it has been successfully added into our flash drive. All right, we're at 98%. There we go, 100%. And we'll just click on Samsung flash drive and confirm that Ghost of Sparta has populated in, and it has. So we've added these two here. I have all of these on here that I'm gonna actually add into Botticera. So if you're following this exact process here with the flash drive, I'm going to X those out. So now I'm gonna actually boot down this PC and fire up my gaming PC running Botticera next. All right, so here I am booted up onto my gaming PC running Botticera. And this is where PSP would be populating in once we add those ROMs. So you can see here as I scroll through my collections, I have PlayStation, PS2, and PS3 on my current build here. So what we're going to need now is we're going to need a keyboard. Make sure that you attach that to your PC, and then you're going to hit F1. The F1 key is going to open up your file system. So once we hit F1 and we've entered into our Botticera file system, now it's time to take our USB flash drive and connect that to our PC. So I just plugged that in. It should populate in here on the left-hand side momentarily, and it should be labeled exactly as it was previously, Samsung flash drive, and there it is. So if we click on that, you can see we have access to all of the ROMs that I added in here, and these, of course, are our disk images. These are not the zipped versions because we extracted that previously. So I'm gonna actually highlight all of these. I'm going to right-click and click on Copy, now I'm gonna go back over to this left column. I'm going to click on my ROMs folder, and then I'm gonna locate my PSP collection folder, which is in alphabetical order. So here it is after PS3. We'll double click on that. You can see this is an empty folder right now. I don't have any ROMs in here. So I'm going to just right click anywhere in this open area and simply click paste. So since we're adding a handful of these, it's going to take a little bit longer. So it says about a minute and a half here. If you're just adding in one ISO ROM, then it should take just a matter of a few seconds. So we'll let this do its thing. Come back here in a minute and about 10 seconds when it's complete. All right, so we're down to the last second here. Everything's completed. We can now see that we have all of our ROMs added into our PSP ROMs folder here. So since that is all we're going to be doing within our file system, now it's time to click on file on the top left corner. We're gonna drop down to close window. That's gonna exit us back to Botticera. And now what we're going to do is we are gonna open up our main menu. So if you have a gamepad controller, hit your start button. If you're using your keyboard, hit the space bar. That's going to open up our main menu. We're going to drop down to game settings. We're going to select game settings. And right at the top under tools, it says update games lists. We need to update in order for our PSP games to actually populate into our collection list. So we're going to go ahead and select update games lists. We're going to confirm it with yes. It's going to update really quickly. And now right here, we can already see above PlayStation 3, we have our PSP collection populating in. So let's jump in here. You can see now on this scrolling list, we have all of those titles that we just added in. Now, 
this isn't very pretty the way it looks right now. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to scrape these games to get logos, box art, video previews, all that good stuff populating in rather than just these text lists that we see over here on the right hand side. So I have a full video on how to set up Screen Scraper because if you haven't done that yet, you're going to want to jump through that tutorial video. I'll put a direct link at the top of your screen and also in the description of this video if you want to check out that video. It's going to show you a little bit more of what I'm going to show you right now, but certainly in more depth than what I'm going to take the time to do right now. So what we're go going to do now is we can actually do these individually or we can go ahead and scrape the entire collection. If we want to do it individually, just select each of these games. So if you're on a... Um, PlayStation style controller, for example, you're going to hold down your X button when you select which game you want to scrape. Once you do that, you're going to pull up this list of options here. You're going to drop down to scrape and it's going to populate in the title right here. So here you can see this is the Fast and the Furious for PSP. The information over here that's populating on screen certainly matches up. So I'm going to just select this option here if I'm using that PlayStation style controller with our X button and it's going to download the image and video should take just a couple of seconds and it's going to bring us back out to that list. And now you can see we've just scraped that title. We have a logo on the right hand side where it was just text like all of these are. Now we have a video preview box art down in the bottom left corner and a description of the actual title. So, this also has sound. I'll go ahead and enable that so you can hear that right now. And now I'm going to show you guys really quick how we can scrape the entire collection. So we're going to go into our main menu, spacebar if you're on a keyboard, start button if you're on a gamepad controller, and we're going to drop down to scrape. We're going to select scrape. And up at the top, I have scrape from set to screen scraper. Again, link in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and set up Screen Scraper. That's the best option in my opinion. And if you're gonna be scraping a lot of content on here, that is definitely the way that you wanna go. So here you can see all of my settings. You can scrape videos or not scrape videos, totally up to you. Fan art, um, box, backside, all that stuff. Whatever you wanna do, I have some of these enabled, some disabled, just depends on personal preference there. You're gonna to wanna to create an account, again, that video tutorial on how to set up Screen Scraper is going to show you how to do all of that. So we'll drop down to now Scrape Now, select that, and now it's going to give you the option to select systems or do everything on your entire Botticera build. Since we're within this specific collection, it's going to, by default, just select PSP. So if we jump down here, all the other collections are disabled. The only one that's going to populate in with a check is going to be Sony PlayStation Portable, PSP. So just wanted to show you that. You don't have to jump in there. So the other thing is up here under filter, it's selecting only titles that are missing medias. So that means it's not going to rescrape the Fast and the Furious because that's already scraped. All of that is already populated in. So it's going to scrape all of the blank titles. So we'll drop down to start. Of course, you want to make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but you likely already have your setup connected to Wi-Fi. So top right corner, you can see the status. We're already on to the third title now, God of War, Chains of Olympus. And it's going to go through all seven of our titles. So we'll let it do its thing. Once it's complete, we'll jump back over here. We're already almost there. All right, so we're on to our last one. Once that's complete, that's going to disappear in the top right corner, and you're going to get this message that says scraping finished, update games list to apply changes. Same as what we did before when we first added these ROMs in. So I'm going to back out of this page, go all the way back up to the top of our main menu here, and second option down is game settings. We'll select that, and then up at the top under tools, update games lists. Select that, confirm it with yes. It's going to update really quickly, and now take a look at our games lists here. We can see we have video previews for each of these. We also have logos instead of just our text list. We have box art down the bottom left corner. Title says who made the game. Description on the bottom right corner. Little rating system. 
over on the right hand side from there so everything just looks really nice we even have a nice background up at the top we have a logo as well just really nicely polished and the way that this populates in is going to depend on what theme you're using for Botticera. but all of these games work i've actually tested this out quite a bit in the past so that's pretty much it here that walks you through your entire process for adding your PSP ROMs to Bautasera, and also a little bonus on how to actually scrape everything. All right, so as you can see from this video, pretty straightforward process here. We don't really have to do a whole lot of prep to our ROMs in order to add them into Bautasera. It's a little bit of a time-consuming process if you're adding a massive amount of games one by one, but all in all, pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. You guys know the deal though. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube in order to grow this channel. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.